Hi. So this little video is to help um, explain the relationship between SACs, exams, and how they contribute to give you a study score. And it's using a little tool uh, which is available for everyone at 10minutequiz.com. So let's say we're interested in further mathematics. And if we enter our goal study score, it will show us roughly what will that scale to um, after the VTAC scaling process. And as a rough guide, a scaled score of 40 across the board would give you an ATAR um, of 90, give or take. Okay, so then we need to enter our school and ref drag the bubble to reflect our approximate SAC rank. So why is that important? Because as far as um, VCAR is concerned, what's important regarding your SAC is not your actual score out of 100 or out of 50 or whatever it was out of. Um, it's your rank against the other students in your cohort. And you won't necessarily know exactly, um, but your teacher might tell you the median. So you would know roughly if you're about average, um, if you are slightly below average or above average. So let's say, we were in the top 25% of our school, uh, which was Baldwin High. Okay, when we click Calculate, the tool will do an estimate of how does our SAC get moderated. Then it would estimate what do we need in both of our exams to reach our goal study score um, of raw 42, scaled 40. And you can see what's happened for the students at Baldwin High is that their SAC is likely to be moderated um, quite highly. And that's because the students at Baldwin High study very hard. And actually um, in their exams, they would tend to do a lot better than the average student. Okay, because um, it might not seem like a fair process for the students at other schools, but what it means is um, this student who is in the top 25% of students at Bowen High, actually, when we compare them to the students uh, across the state, they were much higher than the top 25%, okay? It looks like maybe the top 10% or something. And that's reflected by the um, performance overall of the other students at Bowen Secondary. So um, as far as this calculator, it's just estimating that using the median, which we've got from some VCAR data, in reality, VCAR will take the top and bottom scores from Baldwin High, the median, the Q1 and the Q3, and actually look at their exam scores. And they'll use that um, to moderate the SAC scores. But even just using the median, we can get a reasonable estimate. So um, we can change that. So let's say we don't think the median should be that high. And what we notice is the whole box plot moves. Okay, so let's say, look at a school where the median is, is uh, roughly 30. And what we notice is the box lines up pretty much with the exam boxes. Okay, so the top 25% in a school where the median is 30 lines up with top 25% um, of the state. You can have a play around with this yourself. And then we can also see if we were to um, get a few less or more marks in the exam, how would that affect our raw or scaled study score? So check it out yourself. You can leave any um, comments in the comments um, and study hard. Good luck in your exams.